this is a incredibly interesting bug. So I started a waterfall geno run, right? And everything was normal, except there's no map. I couldn't figure out where to put the reaper birds, so I waited until they started walking. I just felt around until I saw them turn right there and placed my reaper bird down. Now, in order to figure out where to put my flying units, I pressed the flying unit button, and the map just kind of showed me where the floating green is. So anyway, I'm doing waterfall genocide, but the catch is I'm not allowed to have a map, apparently. This was not by my choice at all. Also, there's supposed to be something here. I'm just inside of it. Waterfall genocide's really easy, so I'm still going to beat it, but this is pretty funny. Oh wow, it actually took me into the intermission shop. Okay. Well, I, I now have extra damage. I still don't have a map. Wait, were those always there? Or is the map finally starting to spawn in? What, weren't there two things over there? Now I only see one. Oh, but now enemies are spawning over here. Let's go ahead and place a reaper bird to greet them. Right here. And then there should be another location... Right here? Where am I? Yeah, I don't actually know where my units are. This is kind of hilarious to me. Hey, look at the upside. There's no worrying about walls blocking me from clicking on things. Oh no, the flying enemies are here. Except every enemy is a flying enemy on this map. Let's upgrade a whim slot here. Here comes Mad Dummy! Flying version! Because <laughs> everything flies here. We all float down here. Oh my gosh, is Mad Dummy going to die before even reaching my whim slots? This is going to be close. Yeah, no. Mad Dummy's dead. Just three enemies got past my defenses. Yeah, the intermission shop just works. I don't understand why. And yeah, right now, during the intermission, there are two little areas over here, right? But look what happens the intermission ends. One of them, yeah, one of them disappears. The intermission shop only exists during the intermission. That makes sense. But in a lot of games, they'll just keep things in storage uh, away from where you can see. It's still there, you just can't access it. Here it's actually just gone. Well, I'm in the final wave, and I think I've done surprisingly well for not having a map. Surprisingly well. These enemies are still coming, but... I I'm defending with my floating whimsoms, which, you know, doesn't sound out of character. But my floating reaper bird is sort of out of character. It doesn't even look like it knows how to fly. Especially Shiren. I think Shiren can become a floating head. So you know what? Maybe all these units do make sense to be flying. However, I draw the line at some things like floating Aaron. Well, let's wrap this up with our very thrilling fight with Undying. As you can see, Undying, just like everyone else, can float. And you know... I think I look a lot like Undyne. Well, let's see what happens when Undying gets through to our towers. Alright, here's Undying. She took about 3,000 damage from two unupgraded Reaper Birds, so she's a little weaker. But what are the odds that Undying would possibly fall to my Reaper Birds? I mean, she's so strong, 25,000 health. And she used the power of determination, and even that power wasn't enough. I hope you all enjoyed that short little fun thing that I encountered.